Okay, so welcome everyone to the uh, intro to 2023 session. We are pleased to have uh, Dr. Gary Kessler here, who is speaking to us live from Florida, uh, to introduce you to our plan for 2023. Gary, the floor is yours. Great, thank you very much. Um, and folks, uh, it's nice to nice to be here. Um, I'm actually sorry I could not be in Edmonton. Um, I am though delighted um, that we will be hosting. LCN 2023 here in Daytona Beach. Um, I was also particularly sorry to miss this year because LCN finally has a talk in maritime cybersecurity, a field in which I've been playing for the last five years, and, and I had to miss the talk. But let me, uh, without too much further ado, um, so LCN 2023 will be um, here in Daytona. It will be on the 2nd to 5th of October, and our venue is going to be a place called the Shores Resort and Spa. There is one not great picture, but I've got some better pictures here for you in a minute. So first of all, little geography lesson. Um, so here, of course, is a map of the United States of America, uh, at least the lower 48 states. Don't worry right now about Alaska and Hawaii. Um, currently, um, you are all here, which would be Edmonton, Canada. And somewhere in the lower right of this screen, you will see a little circle around Daytona Beach. Um, so that's where... LCN will be next year. Now, some of you have been to Florida before because you might have been to Clearwater. Clearwater is over near Tampa on the west coast of Florida. Um, and so just to, you know, just to give you some ideas of familiarization. Um, here is uh, another picture of Florida. Let me put up some yellow here. Um, so Daytona Beach is highlighted there in yellow on the East Coast. You can see Orlando is also highlighted, and down in the South is Miami. Um, here's just some quick information about airports. Uh, you can, in fact, fly into Daytona Beach. Um, my wife and I, in fact, are going to be flying internationally. We fly from Daytona to Charlotte, um, that you can also get to Atlanta. Um, but those are the only airports uh, that actually... Uh, well-served Daytona Beach. It's about 11 miles or 18 kilometers from where our conference venue will be. Orlando is also another, you know, international gateway for us. It's only about um, an hour, hour and a half away. If you think you want to fly into Miami, um, I would just observe that it's four hours away, so probably a little bit too far. But the nice thing about Florida um, is the weather. Uh, here's the average temperatures the first week of October here in um, in, in Daytona. Uh, you'll notice in the morning it is averages about you know the mid 70s or mid 20s centigrade. By uh, by 6 p.m. it's in the high 70s or you know still in the mid 20s centigrade, and it gets hotter around noon, one o'clock, where it does get into the mid 80s Fahrenheit or high 20s centigrade, and we frequently will have, you know, our daily rain shower, but, you know, that's what happens when you're in a place that is becoming semi-tropical. Now, I do have to tell you that we get hurricanes. Um, this is the hurricane that we are currently having, uh, Hurricane Ian. Um, right now, it is outside my door. And just to provide some perspective, there is my house. Um, so, when I'm done speaking here, I will be leaving where I am now and going home for some last minute preparations. Um, we're expecting winds uh, that'll be getting um, up into the 60s uh, miles per hour, although we're going to get some gusts up to um, in, the, in the high 90s. Um, so winds up to about 60 kilometers, although we're not really expecting. Uh, did I do that right? No, I think I may have done that wrong. I think I went the wrong direction. Um, it's going to be way more than that. So uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just stick with the numbers that I really know in my head. Uh, Fifty to sixty mile per hour winds gusting to ninety or ninety five. Um, we don't get hurricanes every year, uh, and we don't get them always in October. But you know, just to you know, truth in advertising. Now, having said all of that, we're going to be at the Shores Resort and Spa. One of the nice things about Daytona is Daytona is not nearly as crowded as many of the other venues where we have had LCNs, um, up to and including Clearwater. Um, the shores is sort of far enough away from everything that if you're coming just for the conference, you're gonna be able to have a good time. 
Um, it'll be easy to network. The, the facility is great. We're right on the beach. If you're here with family, you're not far from many of the family-friendly things that there are to do in Daytona. So um, in, in that regard, it's, it, it's a nice area. The Shores is on an area here called the Peninsula. So uh, to the east of the peninsula is the Atlantic Ocean, and to the west of the peninsula is something called the Intracoastal Waterway, which is an inland waterway in the United States that goes from just about New Jersey all the way around the East Coast and then the Gulf Coast to Brownsville, Texas. So you can actually take that entire several thousand mile route and never hit the ocean. Um, so we're just a few miles from downtown Daytona Beach. Better than that, we're within walking distance of a ton of good restaurants and an excellent ice cream place. This is not the greatest map in the world, but again, just showing you um, where we're going to be. Um, and again, ocean to the east, river to the west. So here's some pictures of the resort. Um, this is from the pool area, obviously, looking up at some of the rooms. Um, uh, the, the rooms have balconies. Um, down below is just showing there the, the, the little uh, patio area, uh, again, on the ocean side. Here is what a room looks like. Here is what, um, well, this would have to be, um, oh, this would have to be sunset, wouldn't it? Because that's to the east. So looking east. Um, and again, looking over the pool area. Here is the conference rooms. Um, this is the main conference room that we would be in up there on the upper left. The lower right is one of the other conference rooms that's on the top floor. And in this case, the view here is overlooking the ocean. They have a room just like this on the other side of the building that overlooks the river. Again, here's a picture from the beach of, um, of the resort. And, um, you know, uh, and another one below showing more of the beach. And Daytona says that it has the world's most famous beach. I refuse to attest to that myself, but we do have the sign. Um, so there are things to do, as I said, in Daytona. There's a little bit more touristy, if that's what you're looking for. Not Again, not quite as intense as Clearwater, um, but we do have our tourist areas, um, we also have a major raceway. For those of you that have heard of the race called the Daytona 500, this is where it is. Um, and that's the picture on the, on the bottom there. We sometimes have music on the beach and something called the band shell, which is the, on the second row there. So again, lots of things to do besides just, uh, just confer. We do have a couple of major universities. Um, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, where I used to teach, um, is certainly there. Um, Bethune-Cookman University is a historically black college and university. It is, as you says, as you see from the sign, established in 1904. Um, it is actually older than Embry-Riddle, but um, that is also in, in Daytona. Um, among the things that we also have going on here is we're just north of Cape Canaveral, and we will occasionally see launches going off. Uh, the picture at the upper left is one that I took from a boat on the river um, right around sunset, and you can see the launch pretty clearly. Um, on the lower right is on the ocean. There's a, uh, a sailboat there, which is actually commercial. You can actually um, go there and, and, and take trips if you want. Uh, here at Moonrise, this was late in the afternoon. Here is me in my natural habitat. One of my other jobs that I've had for many years is I drive an eco tour. And um, every Friday night, usually see dolphin, which is in the picture in the upper right there, and lots of birds. There's one standing on my boat when I parked at a restaurant. And um, for those of you who like scuba diving, do be in touch with me. Um, there's another picture of me about 75 feet underwater. Um, and just because I couldn't resist, um, we have the tallest lighthouse in Florida and the second tallest lighthouse in the Eastern United States. Our conference venue actually is only gonna be a few miles from that lighthouse park if you choose to go up to the lighthouse. Um, and there is a wonderful, wonderful view from up there. Um, a friend of mine calls the skyline that we have, the Miami of Volusia County. Um, take that with the appropriate, uh, Warning, 
but uh, this is a couple miles offshore. The latitude and longitude is there if anybody wants to look it up. But it's not just water. We also have um, any number of other uh, nature areas to go to, um, hiking, lots of hiking. And uh, we're not great on bicycle trails, but we do have some. And that is basically what I have about uh, Daytona. I'm very, very excited that we're going to um, be here next year. Uh, I, again, I've been, Frank Hubner and I have been working with the, um, the, the, the woman who's in charge of events coordination at the shores, and she has been a delight. And the, and the venue just looks absolutely wonderful. So as I said, I'm really looking forward to all of that next year. So uh, with that, um, Questions, comments, anything like that? Thank you very much, Gary. So uh, just give me a second while I get up to the podium. Okay. And you're welcome to share the slides I sent you with anybody who would like them, or they can, they can ping me. Thank you so much, Gary. Again, we really appreciate it. We'll uh, probably just montage out the part about the hurricanes being likely. But uh, otherwise, uh, we'll, uh, we're all excited about the opportunity for next year. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the offer on scuba diving as well. And Excellent. And boating. Up. Take care, everybody. And, and uh, have a good Wait, day. Gaddy, wait. Are you, oh. are, you, are you redacting your offer? <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm counting how many people want to take you up on your offer on scuba diving instruction. Well, oh, there we go. If we come in early, <laughs> I can certainly get that. So done. there's I'm... one, two, three, four, five. Wow, six hands up. So uh, get the time I, ready. <laughs> I am a scuba instructor with a captain's license. So I have a fair amount of, and I'm mostly retired. So there we go. As long as you're insured. <laughs> I am insured. I'm no fool. <laughs> then, that's what matters. Thank you so much, Gary. This was a lovely presentation. Okay. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Take care of the guys.